okay i need to breathe i need to breathe i need to breathe Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video with ours. <sighs> Super excited. I hope I'm going to get through this one without going to the toilet because I'll be like right now I'm just between the toilet and the living room. I take one cup of water then I need to go to the toilet and I still need to drink about two to three liters of water. I don't know why people say pregnant people should drink that much water when you actually do not have space in your stomach so let me start by just saying i finally got this blood test information and had an appointment then with the doctor and got all the information last week our our hair balmy uh hair balmy i don't know i think it's called Eduardo or it's uh, actually a lady who is helping you prepare for parenthood especially first time like us <laughs> who are we expecting for the first time and she came by and we were talking about all all these blood samples that the doctors and the nurses were taking from me without explaining and brought up all the concerns of oh my goodness what could be wrong probably probably what 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 and i was really even more <laughs> agitated and worried so this last like two days ago tuesday i went to the doctor Finally had an appointment and then that was now after taking four extra blood samples. I've been giving back like that that much. Even the nurse last time when I went they were like, oh sorry, I have to take blood from you again, although they didn't give an explanation. But yeah, the doctor explained what was wrong. So basically some blood cell counts were not up to no like they were not normal, they were a little bit lower than they should be. They were not sure if they could communicate to me. They first wanted to confirm by taking further samples. And when were they when they took the other extra sample, they saw that the reading were already increasing and going back to normal. So that's why they did not communicate to me at the beginning. They really just wanted to be sure. And I think it's ridiculous, obviously, when you're dealing with human beings, but on my other side, I've worked in the lab, I've done experiments before. I can also understand because sometimes sample readings could be just a mistake because of the way you took the sample or the time or maybe the person had eaten something that day in I don't know if you want to communicate maybe it's not the best way to communicate uh, very strong dangerous potentially dangerous information to to a patient just by taking one sample I can understand that but I worked with bacteria so I expected that we human it was done differently but I thought like that's how they went about it they first wanted to take just some more samples and get a constant reading before they communicate to me because it could it was going to be not good but yeah thankful everything was good after four samples they saw that the reading was going up and then by the time I went Two days ago, Alice, everything is already in the normal area, so it's fine. And I'm so relieved and so happy because I can't deal with stress right now. And we still don't know what to ex what we expect. Like, how do we prepare for parenthood? I was buying a couple of items for the baby, and when this lady came by and checked the items, especially the clothes, see, no, everything is too big that is you need it first when the baby is third three you know three months old or six months old you can't use that you need to buy new stuffs but at the same time I, every time i was buying things i already felt like oh you are buying way too many things i don't think i don't think babies need that many stuffs yeah and at the end 
of the visit, like after the hair permit did the consultation with us here, we knew we were not ready at all. We didn't have anything. I think I had like two items that were like in the smallest size, like for newborn. The rest were really just like three to six months, baby. And guess what happened? And this is why I love my YouTube channel because yes, I started as a cooking channel. Sometimes we take breaks, sometimes we don't take it serious, but I do appreciate the community that I have got here. I meet really beautiful people. Some I get to meet in person, some I get only to chat with only when you know we have live sessions and in comments, but it's amazing. Last year I met a lady living in Germany now, exactly from my small village in Namibia, and she just found out about me also living in, in the same area from my YouTube channel, and they had a baby. So uh, she said, you know what, come around, I will show you what you need for newborn, because their baby is already over eight months. I come around, I will show you what you need, and I will give you some items for free. I was like, what? So, they gave us a lot of stuff that we do not have to buy anything. And I will tell you one thing that I know is going to cost us a lot of money. I cannot even believe it after another week got it for free. Super, super grateful for that. Is this. This is like a, a meal a meal pump. And this is like number one. Of course I have to to replace some items. But let me just show you how it looks like. So they can it's also mobile. I can kind of go with it wherever you want to travel or to work wherever. But this is a backpack filled with uh, everything I need for breast pump. I can use it at home. I can also use it on board if we are traveling. And this is, it's like a pump in style advanced breast pump. It's like number one, I would say now on the market if you really want to be flexible and mobile. And I knew we were going to need this because I don't want to be super involved and also be able to take the treat the baby and take the baby to bed. So I'm so happy this was going to cost us, I think some good 250 to almost 400, including all the other stuff. But we got it for free and I do love it. It's really in good condition. It comes with, a, I think, a charger. And then um, some other, like this is a cooler box where you can put the milk if you're pumping with the milk. It is a little bit crazy. But I, you know, I'm just happy. If you need it, if I end up needing this one, then I have it. So it's just a small cooler box here. Pump, fit in the bottle, close it, put in coolers, like, you know, all these uh, thermal coolers that you can pre freeze before and then transport the milk home to the baby. Excited. Then these are all the pipes and stuff. These ones I might, I need to replace, but these were not going to be as expensive as buying the whole set. Like, super excited. I can't, I can't believe it. And you know, sometimes we feel, oh, we're lonely here. We do not have family or anything, but we really at times get to meet beautiful people who support us and give us items for free. Or even secondhand, when people offer to sell their secondhand items, it's very good. Apart from this, this was my favorite of all the things they gave us, but I'm going to show you everything else. Like, I literally do not have to buy anything the first three months. I have, I don't know, <laughs> probably 10, 15 onesies for the newborn already. I have. Uh, what are these like the bodies the, the top part and then I have also the the trousers the mini trousers socks everything I need they gave us also items to put on the on the changing station like this waterproof coating for the changing station they gave us 
a hell of a lot of stuff. So I'm just so happy. And now I have no doubt we are ready. Are we ready? Yes, I think we are. Like now, I just have to wait for the lady to come over for our next consultation and see if you're missing anything. But I kind of, I'm kind of certain that we got everything that we was listed on the on her list. New parents for parents to be. So initially, I only bought jumpsuits and we were clear with my partner here earlier that okay that's all we need we need diapers and we need jumpsuits and so we bought like very light jumpsuits and then also heavy jumpsuits so with you put on a diaper you put on a jumpsuit and then you put on a thicker jumpsuit if it's cold so we're thinking like that i spoke to my sister about it and she was like you cannot put a baby in a jumpsuit just like that without putting anything underneath. Um, as I was not convinced. <laughs> I was not convinced. I have to be honest. I was like, yeah. why not? Why not? Because we were discussing with Ali. Was like, okay, oh my goodness, put in a newborn baby in a trouser, in a body, and then in a jumpsuit. Sound like a lot of work. A jumpsuit, a zip, zip, and you're done. So. Initially, we only bought jumpsuits. The, the, this lady came to us and was like, no, no, this is not happening. You need to at least put the baby in, in these mini trousers or pantyhoses and then put on a body and then put on the jumpsuit. In, in for a challenge. I'm like, eh, good. So in the end, we got all this item from this couple which I'm very happy about now we just need to practice there's no room for practicing I think we just need to wait for the baby and try to put on a body on the newborn baby I don't know how that works I don't know how that works another thing I was really struggling to get is this muslin blankets or what are they? yeah muslin blankets or cheese I think cheese cloth is what it's called cheese cloth I've ordered this stuff several times and every time when I get things from Amazon because obviously you cannot go out to shops and get stuff like before they are so thin I'm only thinking the only time I really use use this cheese cloth is to make a broth when Alessandro's mother is making tortellini for Christmas because they are like transparent sheet of it's almost like a net I was like, how can a baby use this and for what? I ordered them, I think, two or three times. I had to send them back because I was not happy with the quality. Finally got the right stuff from, <laughs> from this couple. They gave us some chi or like this um, Muslim blankets that are actually better quality and they are quite thick. I don't know now oh, I don't I'm not sure where they got them from. I didn't ask. They gave us it's not enough. So I did not ask, but the one that I was getting from Amazon were terrible. They were really, really light. Good. <sighs> cool down, cool down. We cannot do things like before. Cool down, cool down. Yes. So yeah, what else happened apart from that? that that's like highlights of my week. So excited. Also, just knowing that. I'm healthy, I'm very happy about that as well. Feeling also very positive because you know when you get a uh, bit like not so good news, the whole mood goes down and you also start feeling some type of way, although maybe physically you're not really supposed to be feeling like that, but your mind is everything and with my mind in a positive state, I think it's good for me, 100 percent sure, and I think it's also good for the baby. And for Ali as a supporting partner, as well, just does not have to worry about me every now and then, like, are you okay? So I'm feeling really, really positive. And it's just been a beautiful week, and I feel very blessed to know that I just meet this beautiful couple on YouTube and they helped us get stuff. 
So what else? Pretty much, I think that is it.